Over 500 structures have been destroyed due to high winds in the Strand and Helderberg areas. Cape Town officials say more than 30 power outages have also been reported across various areas in the metro. With over 50 millimetres of rain expected in the region today, officials say disaster management teams are on high alert while mopping up operations continue. SABC News reporter Vanessa Puna filed this report. Residents of New Zone in Nomzamu are trying hard to rebuild uh, following devastating winds that have uh, lashed this area over the past 24 hours. Um, as you can see to my left hand side, there are still people trying uh, desperately to build their uh, shacks. Um, joined now by one resident of New Zone, and Tomba Temba um, Keti. Um, explain to us when the winds came up, uh, you say that quite a number of people um, are struggling to rebuild. What happened? When did the wind start? The wind started at night, it was yesterday night when the, the wind started. So, and the sharks break down, everything was, was a mess. So the people need in structures to put their, their heads up on them. Um, are you concerned as a resident because we understand that more, um, more high winds are coming as well as more rain. What are your concerns as a resident of this area? We are concerned because we need material and stuff so that we, we, can, we can start to build again the houses. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Of course, just there, um, an update of some of the residents of New Zone here in Nomzamo near Strand. Of course, a short while ago, we spoke to Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis. He was on site uh, and saying that teams are doing assessments across Cape Town and especially here in the Haldeberg area. Also telling us that quite a number of communities um, that are without power at the moment, uh, this area, one of them. And the reason being that uh, City of Cape Town teams cannot use their cherry pickers uh, with the cranes to fix overhead cables asking and appealing for patient uh, for patients from communities um, of course as they they try and rebuild their lives we also understand that quite a number of roads um, have been closed we know that Clarence Drive um, has been closed as well as Chapman's Peak uh, remains closed at this time uh, the Huguenot Tunnel which was closed yesterday has since been reopened and of course with a level 9 weather warning uh, for uh, large parts of the Overstrand as well as uh, this area um, a caution is being um, a caution is really uh, what a resident should be taking as well as um, uh, trying to stay off the roads and trying to stay safe uh, as uh, these inclement weather conditions are expected to continue uh, for the rest of today as well as into tomorrow. A team saying that they are on high alert and we do know uh, that NGOs uh, are out um, uh, delivering food aid as well as any other aid uh, that affected residents need and also uh, there have uh, been a communication from the city of Cape Town's disaster management uh, saying that those residents wishing to make donations can do so at the Disaster Risk Management Centre in Gudud. Uh, the situation at the moment, of course, just showing us some of the residents here. Uh, one of the areas, one of the informal areas affected by the heavy and high winds that have been lashing uh, the Cape and also parts of the Cape Winelands uh, as well as the Boiland area since yesterday.